if you had the option to choose between a Max Payne sequel or a Quantum Break sequel, what would you pick? I mean, personally, I would pick a Max Payne sequel as long as it was made by Remedy Games. If it was made by Rockstar, I'd go for Quantum Break because Remedy just have this certain touch with the supernatural element, the narrative. Don't get me wrong, Rockstar are really good with narrative elements as well, but Remedy just do things. Okay, they're just burning bodies. Maybe that's why people go in and don't come back out. I'm not sure. Either those guys wheeled their trash out on stretchers, or something was seriously wrong here. I'm gonna go for something seriously wrong. But yeah, if they were to give us a Max Payne sequel, I would honestly rather be a prequel because I feel like Max's story is finished essentially. So we would need ooh, pills. Where those bastards were going, they wouldn't need medication. Oofe. Was there anything they didn't have a grubby hand in? A few days earlier, I'd have called it a coincidence, but I'd written off too many of those already. Yeah, personally, I feel like Max's story is finished after this game, you know, it wraps it all up, and he's getting old a bit, isn't he? I mean, that doesn't stop him from being kick-ass, but still, I prefer a prequel to show how he came into being a cop and everything. Right, can I shoot this? Ah, damn it, man. Of course I would have been able to get in. There's no other way to get in there, is there? We have a prequel dating back to the early days of him becoming a cop. You bring in the su supernatural elements, his painkiller addiction, his family life. It'd be really interesting to see that side of Max. A more happier version. The Imperial Palace Hotel was a five-star bonafide shithole. I needed to find out why guests were checking in by the busload and checking out by the bag load. Maybe the service would be better upstairs. Now, for you guys, what is the best Max Payne game? I'm gonna still go with Max Payne 1. Oh shit. Right, let's. No, can't slam out. Right, I don't think I alerted anyone then. It wouldn't let me slow mo for some reason. Hang on. Okay, stealth. Stealth seems to be out the window. Is it still silenced? Oh shit. Oh shit. Let's go, bitch. Yep, yeah, stealth has gone out the window. I've ran out of bullets already. Hang on, if I go back here, maybe they put some bullets for me gun. Hmm. No, they haven't. Ah, oh, damn it. Ooh, 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 hang on, hang on. The hang cannon. We know how brutal this is, guys, from the previous part. It does near enough one-hit kill enemies, providing they're not wearing body armor. It's a one-hit kill. But yeah, a happier version of Max, you know, like a crime thriller investigating some other organization or maybe a serial killer. It would, it would be enough of a difference between the first Max Payne to warrant, uh, you know, like a prequel. Because with prequels, you have to... You have to offer something really interesting because sometimes, if it's especially if it's with the same character, like say if it's Red Dead 1 and 2, the prequel is different because, you know, you're basing around Arthur Morgan, around Dutch's gang, something we haven't seen before. So it needs to be something we haven't seen before. And Max first starting in the police force and becoming a detective and, you know, trying to figure out a series of murders and everything, that, that would make it more interesting. You could even put it like Alan Wake 2 where... You know, you've got the, you've got that board where, oh shit. You know, where you've got the board of um, clues and investigations and everything like that. That would make it really interesting. I'm not sure if people would take to have more of like a detective thriller type thing, type take on it. But I personally would like to see that. I'd like to see more of that element because you could incorporate the supernatural element, you know. Dive into Max's mind a bit more because this doesn't, this game, as great as it is, it doesn't do it. It purely focuses on the action aspect of it. Obviously, there is some reference to, you know, his painkillers and everything like that. Shit. Hang on. 
yeah, there's reference to, you know, his painkillers and his drug, drug addiction and his family, but it doesn't dive as deep into it as it does with Max Payne 1, so that's something I would like to see if they'd done a prequel. A sequel, I wouldn't be as excited for, to be honest, because I feel like the story has already been told. It would just be nice to see Early Doors, Max Payne, or a Quantum Break sequel. I'm not sure how they'd work one of them. They, they might have to do a whole other character entirely, but Remedy are busy at the moment. They're working on Alan Wake DLC. They're also working on... Why? Oh, there we go. I need to press the light. Yeah, Remedy are working on Control 2, Alan Wake DLC, two DLCs for that and the Max Payne 1 and 2 remakes, so they've got their hands full now. I don't think we'll see any new installments for any other games for a good while until they're done with them, because that's going to keep them busy for a while. I don't think we'll see the Max Payne remakes until another another three years, maybe, because... Oh, shit. Oh, okay. That wasn't supposed to happen. Here we go. Just gotta be careful about it. So yeah, I think with with Remedy Games, obviously they're doing the Max Payne 1 and 2 remake. They're also doing the Control 2. They're doing two Alan Wake DLCs. I don't think we're going to see any other games than that for another few years because I assume now they're working on the DLCs for Alan Wake because, you know, they included the Season Pass with the Digital Deluxe Edition. I wonder how those DLCs are going to work, because last time with the DLCs for Alan Wake, it added on to the main game. It was sort of like the full ending for the game, which I normally don't agree with that in, in games, you know, if you don't give you the full ending. That's what it felt like in the first one, because you had the writer and... What was it? Oh, sh oh shit! Jesus, okay, that's the first time that's happened, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure how to feel about it, because sort of it sort of feels like they already wrote it up to that point and knew what the ending was going to be and like slightly cut it out which yeah I, I don't agree with that stuff in games to be honest it just it doesn't make sense to me you know if you if you're gonna release a game release the game as a whole or maybe delay it a bit because if it does end up being the case where it's you know it expands on the ending a bit more shit Let's blow this shit up. Yeah, if it ends up expanding on the ending, you know. Okay, I don't think that was supposed to happen. Oh no, it was supposed to blow it up. Okay, okay, okay. That's not too bad. Yeah, if it expands on the ending and adds more to the story and gives you a more fulfilled ending, because Alan Wake 2 ended on a cliffhanger. I knew this thing was bigger than me. Bigger than the Broncos. But I only had a glimpse of the whole picture. Like looking in the mirror and for an instant seeing what everyone else sees. A bad caricature of a better man. Golden RPG? Jesus. Okay. We we are yet to find a full golden weapon yet. The most we've done is found two parts per, per mission. We haven't found three parts. Now, I don't know if all the parts are across one mission or multiple missions. Ufe, that deal at the favela was getting dirtier by the minute. Those bastards were clearly in bed with the crush of Prado. Now we just had to find out why. Starting with a bit of bedtime reading for Mr. De Silva. When you've lived the kind of life I've lived, reality comes at you through a different lens. But nothing could have prepared me for what was on the other side of that door. I had to get those poor bastards out of there. Get them out of here. Go. Go. Wait. I said get. Serrano. Serrano. He looked pathetic. A man defeated. I walked away and left him to his own personal nightmare. Whatever hell this was De Silva had sent me into, I knew I had to put an end to it. I had no choice but to push on. I didn't understand everything, and I never would, but I understood enough. Sometimes a complicated problem is 
best tackled with a simple solution. <laughs> the guy's just glitched in. Okay. Simple solution, you say. I don't think it is going to be. Let's just go, bitch. And I'm out of ammo. Okay, that wasn't a simple solution. I need to get this gun. Shit, get the gun. Oh my god, it's still in slow-mo. Okay, that was not a simple solution. Oh, he's trapped. <laughs> bitch. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, man. Oh, no, hide properly. Hide properly, Max. Ooh, another golden gun. Is this supposed to be a shotgun or a rifle? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's a rifle. Although it sounds... No, it doesn't sound like a shotgun one of mine about. Oh, great. Okay. Now we've run out of more bullets. Damn. How am I running out of bullets so quickly, man? I don't get it. Right, I'm just going to have to make a room for it and hope that some of these are bullets. Here we go. Jesus. Pills, anyone? Pills? Give me some pills, guys. Give me some pills. Okay, we've got enough ammo. Shit, this isn't going to offer much, much cover. Shit. Oh, I'm glad you couldn't run and shoot them, mate. Shit. Oh, maybe there's pills around there. Okay. All these dudes are dead. Okay, okay. Oh, shit, man. Wait, how, how is he still alive? I shot him in the face. There we go. You should be dead. Should be. Bitch. Okay, I think that's all of them. Now, back here, there might be some health. It's worth checking out. Unless it glitches me through something again. Uh, no, okay, it's just an empty room. Damn it. Oh! Oh, Jesus. Oh, not good, not good, not good. Shouldn't have done that, maybe. Here we go. We might be able to hit him. Yeah, we got him from there. Ah, damn it. So close to dying, man. Here we go. One dude left. None left, I'm pretty sure. Can I hear anyone talking? Pills anywhere in that. Okay, that just. Oh shit. Ooh, lucky. This was hell on earth. De Silva was no fool. I'd have driven on off into the sunset too if I were him. But I was in too far now. Right, should we swap for this gun? Yeah, we'll go ahead. Okay, no, we'll swap back because this is actually not that much ammo for it, and I'm low on ammo for all guns. I right, couldn't see. No. Oh, no, there is pills, there is pills. Okay, come on, let's get these pills. You can't unsee something, but you can dull the effect. I honestly thought this game was a lot shorter, because Max Payne 1 and 2, I think, if you know what you're doing, and not speedrunning it, it only takes about 3 to 4 hours, I want to say, not that long. going on here how, how much do you want what have you been doing i am a doctor i help people what have you been doing here it's easy for you listen i know people they will kill you i can help you trust me please please what have you been doing i have a lot of money look look lots of money I do important research, please. Caralho! Caralho! Espera, espera. Eu posso explicar tudo. Tudinho! Não, não. Por favor. Pelo amor de Deus. Por favor, não me mata. Não, não. Pelo amor de Deus. Yeah, 
for all Serrano owed me, he'd paid enough. For now, I had bigger debts to call in. Yeah, if Serrano's getting his organs harvested, because that's evidently what they're doing, they're either killing people or they're keeping them alive and harvesting Even their I organs. I guess what Demo Li Sao meant. That building was condemned in more ways than one. Okay, this looks like it's going to be prime for a shootout, and um, we've got barely any ammo. But yeah, that doctor's obviously... I mean, it's clear as day, he's harvesting organs. So... Yeah, Max done a good thing by letting the dude kill the surgeon because that surgeon evidently was, was a piece of shit. The outside. Here we go, what's in here? Oh, the guns? They had a fucking arsenal in here. It was time to bring this little hellhole to the ground, so I decided to put some of their C4 to good use. Nice. Okay, now I'm gonna have a look, a look back in there because I feel like, yep. If I thought pills. about this too much, I'd never get through it. Either Victor Bronco and Nevis were doing a lot of charity work together, or this was payment for something else. Were the crash of Prado in Victor's pocket? Had he tipped them off about the stadium exchange? Probably. Maybe there's a big fat inheritance. So we got a shitload of ammo. Ooh, hang on, what the hell is that? I had to hurry up before more of those assholes showed up. Can I get more ammo for it? Ah, oh, damn it. Hmm. Oh no, I can, yeah, okay. So let me just wait a moment to see if it gives me even more ammo. So let, let's actually reload this while we're waiting. Pretty sure they're on full ammo. But that is a big ass gun. Okay, I don't think. No, we can't get more ammo. So we've only got. We've only got two health. Two, two health isn't the worst, but it isn't the best. Now, it could be a struggle. Hang on, uh, where am I going to now? I'm just, oh, hang on, was that a golden gun part? It was. Okay, two out of three golden gun parts. We're still yet to find a third during a playthrough. <laughs> we still haven't found three of them. Okay. Oh, oh, I need to plant them on all the red pillars. Okay, I get it. Silly me. Now, this is where loads of enemies are going to come rolling in. Now, how many red pillars are there? There's one more left. There we go. I'd seen some dark shit in my time, but this was something else. These vermin had gone into a place where life was cheap and found a way to get rich off it. I just wanted to finish this and get far away from here. But then, through the form, more of the rats came out of their holes. <laughs> You're doing a good thing, Max. You're doing a good thing. Now, we'll stick with the hand cannon for now. The big juicy gun, we'll wait until we're in a more open area. This, for now, we've got plenty of cover. We don't need to worry that much about, you know, being, like, trapped. I was looking for the word then. Yeah, shooting his body when he's got body armor probably isn't the best thing to do, Dagan. Come on, come out to hide. Well, come out of hiding, not come out to hide. Yep. Okay. Pretty sure that's the last dude. I'm positive it is. Nope, I was wrong, as always. Oh, come on, this is a bad shot. You know what? Full of time, baby. See, even when you get them in the arm, it's a one-hit kill when you get them in the arm, so that's why it's good using At the Magnum. At least my visitors have been kind enough to leave the gate open. Right. Now, let's change to the big gun, because I'm pretty sure this is going to be a more open area up here. Shit, man. Okay. Can I get them from there? No, I'm just going to have to hide from them. Oh, okay, sniper. I hope that hasn't swapped out my other gun. It has, but you know what? We'll be okay, guys. Here we go. Okay. So there's a shitload of snipers. Right. 
slow-mo it is because it's going to take a while aiming in with the sniper. So if we just use slow-mo all the time, it means we can just get rid of the enemies a lot quicker. Don't know how long we have to be here for, but just take them out while we can. Is that all of them? Really? Because if I swap for this big gun now, it might get rid of... Well, it will get rid of the sniper. You know what, we'll go back to it. Pretty sure we're okay now. Here we go. Ugh, shit. Okay, this gun is beautiful. Good heal. Bitch. Uh, do we need to plant more? Aha, not until all the enemies are gone. So I think once all the enemies are gone, that's when you can plant the explosives. Obviously, it doesn't make sense to do Any it. Any time I'd bought, it had been going real cheap. If I was going to plant the rest of those explosives, I had to do it now. I'm going to do it now. Oh, shit, man. You know what? Big gun time. We've got 150 bullets left in this big gun, so we should be okay. I don't know how many more explosives Max can be carrying. It wouldn't surprise me if it's about 100. Okay. Uh, we we haven't planted one on this one, I believe. Oh, no, we have. Yeah, we have. So there's one, two more. Okay. Now there's going to be more enemies coming out now. There's got to be. We don't actually have boss fights in this game either. We haven't had a boss fight. Which is kind of strange. I can hear a helicopter. So that doesn't, you know, put me in confidence. It <laughs> puts me a bit on edge, if I'm honest. Right, here we go. Last one. That was the last of the explosives. I just hoped it was enough to bring down the building and all the evil in it. Who wants to take a shot? You see what this is? Come on, anybody? Wanna be a hero? I got nothing to lose, let's do it. Que porra que tá acontecendo aqui? Senor Nevis. What the fuck is your problem, man? <laughs> my problem? My problem? Wanna know what my problem is? You're turning humans into glue. That's what my fucking problem is! I don't know what you're talking about, American! All I know is what I hear about you. You bodyguard for the Brancos. They are all dead. You help the poor. Today, many of them dead. You are a proper American hero. At least I fucking tried. Well done with your effort. The whole city is grateful. The great American savior of the poor. That's right. You think you made any difference? You think stopping this legitimate business venture is helping anyone? Legitimate? You're stealing people's organs. We pay for everything. We have the record. Oh, so people can sell their livers, their hearts, their eyeballs? You're insane, you sick fuck. We get people safe in the city. Decent people. Safe. I know a lot of powerful people. Well, your powerful people aren't gonna help you out of this one, buddy. Well, that's one way to do it. Shit. Oh, Jesus. You really done it now, Max. How the hell am I gonna get out of this? <laughs> ah, the helicopter. Yes, I did not see that there. Okay. That seems to be all of them. Let's go, bitch. Let's go. Helicopter, go, go, go. Come on, Max. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Get away, bitch. Trying to sneak attack me. Jesus! Okay, that's uh, a 
That's one way to break and enter. Right, let's let's use our pearls just to be safe. Here we go. Anyone waiting here now? Okay, there was someone waiting there just in a different area. Uh, it looks like we're okay. Now, I think someone's going to... Well, I thought someone was going to break out there, but maybe not. <laughs> Where the hell do I go now? Hang on, hang on. I'm getting shot at... Ah! Shit, man. Okay. Where now? Oh, Jesus. Shit, man. Right. Here we go. I hate this motherfucker. If we just keep going for his head, we should be okay. Yes! Last time was so difficult trying to kill him, man. Just so much more difficult. Here we go. <laughs> I told you the city was dangerous, friend. Yeah, I kind of like it. It's growing on me. <laughs> nice to see your happy tourists smiling. <laughs> came back. I can see that. But why? To save you. Oh, yeah, real hero. Listen, now come, come with me, Max, to Brazil. A chance to play the fall guy in a plot that my boss and brother's hatching. To profit from the selling of human organs. Yeah, it'll be perfect for you. What are you talking about? I don't know nothing about human organs, man. Victor and Marcelo are trying to teach Rodrigo a lesson. Get him to loosen the purse strings and the family money. They pressured me into doing it. You wanna die? I came back for you. I did my best. I'm having a kid, Max. I gotta go. Fuck you. Sure. Later. Now, let's go. This thing works. Everything. No, you don't. I'm sorry I couldn't save your sister. I was there. It wasn't your fault. I was paid to protect her, and I didn't. She married into a sick family. Maybe. I... I just wanted to say thank you for giving us a chance to live. I mean, as a family. I hope it all works out for you, for all of you. Thank you. Don't be too long. Buddy, that's it. Where are you guys gonna go? Uh, I don't know, maybe back to New York, uh, maybe down to Argentina. Giovanna has family in Salvador. Maybe we'll just stay there. Yeah, I got business to take care of. Uh, I I'm sorry I, I dragged you into this. I, I know, uh, I, I know it was very wrong. It's all right, it's done. But hey, I'm having myself a fun old time. Maybe this is how things had to be. Figure I. Might as well die in the sunshine as die in the snow. Look, I'm sorry I'm leaving. I, I got a kid coming. You, you know how it is. I know how that is. You know, I, I almost didn't say goodbye to you. I said to myself, maybe this guy will put a bullet in me. <laughs> maybe I will. But not right now. Thank you. Try to look after yourself, Max, huh? Life is worth living. If you say so, pal. I thought I was going to have to witness another murder. <laughs> nah. Not him. You ready? I guess. Okay. I've, uh, looked through this information you gather. It's not very nice. What is it? It's the Ufe. The famous Mr. Becker. Friend of Victor Bronco. <laughs> yes. And a contributor to his campaigns. A government employee, of course. And? A weapons dealer. A murderer. This was known. A dealer in human organs. This wasn't known. 
A proper gentleman. Mm, sure. So you're gonna bring him down? <laughs> yes, because I want to lose my wife and my children and then get killed myself. All that after watching him walk free. Tell me what has to be done. Well, officially, there's uh, nothing I can do. And unofficially? Well, we can always try something a little more creative. Creative? De Silva had promised me a 10 o'clock showcase. I had to make sure I was on stage and ready for my close-up. Diga <laughs> Becker. Kevin Parael. Cuidado nosso. Quebra esse otário aí. Deixa comigo, me dá uma lição nele. <risos> então, o pai dela não desliga. Patrão, filha da puta! Atrás de inocente! Por que é que vai ser mais pra você contigo? Eu vou aqui! O que você vai me acontecer, caralho? Tá pensando o quê? Ah, onde é que você veio? Fica aí, Eu! Escondeu, filha da puta! Otário! Não, 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 Understand? I can't hear you. What are you what doing you here? Doing you here? Hit me in the ear. Hey, answer me. What are you doing here? Back in the precinct after all this time. Time to find out what the hell was going on. Well, that's one way to do it. Gonna sneak attack them. Close enough. Uh, come on, come on, come on, guys. Like a little conveyor belt, come on. Ah, oh, sucks to be you for not wearing body armor, eh? Right, okay. I knew nothing resembling good times lay beyond that gate, but I was gonna have to face the music sooner or later. Okay, is there anything interesting in here? Hmm. There's gotta be something to investigate. Loads of drugs, money. Hmm, nothing. There's gotta be something here. Special Forces painkillers. Ah, yes, Max's favorite. No, there's really nothing to. Hmm. I thought there would have been something to investigate, maybe. Maybe in here. Really? Hmm. Damn it. Thought there would have been something. Let's check back here. Nah, it doesn't seem like there's anything juicy, no clues or anything, guys. But anyway, I'm going to end that part here because I know what part is coming. One of the few parts I can remember about Max Payne. And it's going to be super duper juicy. You guys are in for a real treat. We are within. The final, I want to say just over the final hour of the game, so I appreciate your support throughout all this series, guys. If you've got any recommendations for any games you want to see me play, please let me know. See ya!